The building was a residential hotel. It was constructed in 1926 when Kenmore Square was the hub of transportation into the city. The folklore is Babe Ruth he had a suite on the eighth floor that he was particularly fond of. It had a history before it was a dormitory. It had a history once it became a dormitory. Again, it's folklore, but I think it's based on truth, which is Martin Luther King met his wife in this building. There was an event, might have been in this very room, that Coretta Scott was singing at, and Martin Luther King was here. That and the other stories that built up from our alums that lived in this building was a very powerful, very powerful message. So we wanted to keep and preserve that. I mean, certainly the building had outlived its usefulness. It was tired, it needed a lot of work. You know, at some point in time between 1949 and when we arrived, the retail store openings at the first floor had been blocked in. There was not a great connection to the street. It created this very sterile, uninviting environment for a pedestrian. And part of our goals was to activate that and to let people see from the outside that there's life on the inside. BU has always done a great job in being a good neighbor. We worked with residential groups and talked about the design and that certainly informed how the pocket park design ended up. If we posted a story online about this project, people would write in with very fond memories and they're happy that we've worked hard to maintain the building. And this is a home, and it's a place where I can be comfortable and I can be successful as a student. We are really proud to be part of that. You know, our goal is to get students to graduate. That's what we do. And if we can be really good neighbors and citizens of the city and respect the history at the same time, then I think it's a win for everyone.